We are continuing to compare the building of the report you see on the screen in both Microsoft's Management Reporter and Jet Reports, a Microsoft Excel add-on. In Management Reporter, reports are built using rows, columns, and trees. These individual components are then assigned to a report definition, creating a completed report. In this video, we'll focus on the report definition, completing the sample report we've been building in this series. If you are an FRX user, you'll be able to follow along applying FRX to the comparison as Management Reporter and FRX use similar concepts. We'll be using the same GP database on the same machine at the same time for this comparison. So let's complete our report. On the right side of the screen is Management Reporter. On the left side, Excel with Jet Reports installed. Let's create the report definition in Management Reporter first. As you can see, I'm already in the report definition window. I'll click on New to begin building the report component. The report definition displays four different tabs. To complete our report, I'll need to review and edit information on these four tabs. On the Report tab, I'll utilize the building blocks we created in the previous videos. I'll select the row format we created, named Consolidated. I'll select the column format we created, named Consolidated. I'll select that I want this report to use a tree, then I'll select the tree we created in the last video, which will allow this report to use data from two different companies. Now that we've assigned the three components, in theory, the report is complete, but we'll want to review the other tabs for changes that need to be made. I'll select the Output and Distribution tab, which is where we define where our report will be located. It is on this tab that we also will set our Excel export options, which is important as we find most users will export the report to Excel immediately upon refreshing. The headers and footers is next and I can see the default header information. I'm going to change part of the report header by replacing the unit description, which is not necessary since this is a side-by-side -side comparison, with the description of consolidated report. We know we want the logo at the top left, so I'll select the first header section, click to insert an image, find and insert my logo, and click OK. Finally, we'll look at the Settings tab. This tab contains miscellaneous options like, do you want to display your negatives in red? Just for fun, I'll go ahead and select this option. Let's return to the Reporting tab, manually change the period to December 2017, and generate the report. I'll select to include all branches of my tree, as failure to do this will prevent some drill down capabilities. FYI, the report definition can be edited to automatically select all branches of the tree for me. The report will now display in the Management Report Viewer. It looks good, except we're seeing all account numbers, including ones with no activity, but overall it looks good. Let's close the Report Viewer and change the Report option to exclude accounts with no activity. I'll select the Settings tab then unmark the option Display Rows with No Amounts, which defaulted as Show. I'll go back to the Report tab and go ahead and save my report definition with these changes. I'll generate the report again. Let's speed up the video so we can see the results of the Management Reporter report. Here is our report, displaying both companies and a combined column. Let's do the same thing in Excel with Jet Reports. I've already opened the report we've been building in the row and column videos. As you recall, there was nothing that needed to happen on this report in the tree video, as the selection of multiple companies was handled in the columns. First, let's go back to where we selected our fiscal year and our fiscal period. I promised in an earlier video we'd make this easier for users. Let's do this now. In cell B5, which is a hidden column, I'll enter the full date that I want to use as a reporting date. Next, I'll edit the fiscal year and period cells to be Excel formulas or functions that extract the year and month from the full date. 
These formulas will be the year and the month formula respectively. Now this report is assuming a calendar year, but the Excel formulas can be adjusted to accommodate a fiscal year. The report will calculate as a year-to-date report, or as of, whatever date is entered here in cell B5. This cell can also be used as a reference for the header to display the reporting date. Later in this video, I'll show you an easy way for your users to populate this field. Let's create the report headers first. I'll enter my main company name in cell E5, Fabricam Inc. I'll enter the report name in cell E6, Consolidated Report. In cell E7, I want to display the report date with the notation that this report is looking at year-to-date numbers only. To do this, I'll need to use the Excel text formula, concatenate. Note, older versions of Excel call this concat, but it works the same way. On the Excel menu, I'll choose formulas, then text, and finally concatenate. Now I'll only need to fill in the blanks on the wizard. The first part of this report header will read year to date as of space, then I'll tab. On the next line, I want the reporting date, but if I just point to the cell where the date is located, I'll just see the number. As a result, I need to use another Excel formula to turn the date into text. On the text to line, I'll enter text, start parentheses, point to the date, comma, and then in quotes enter MMMM space DD comma space YYY and parentheses. You'll see the date appear to the right in the format that I want and the full result of the formula displaying below. So I'll select OK. I already have the first line of the header formatted using simple Excel default formulas. So I'll just copy and paste the formatting to the other rows of the header. As we did in Management Reporter, Let's add our logo in the top left corner. I'll insert pictures from my local files. This one is too big, so I'll simply resize it. Let's quickly refresh our report and see the results. This report looks good, except we're seeing all accounts like we did in Management Reporter, even ones with zero balances, so we'll need to hide those. If we scroll to the bottom of the report, we can see our results in our JET report are the same as Management Reporter. Let's scroll back to the top and hide accounts with zero balances in both companies. You may recall in a previous video, we added the JET keyword hide in cell B1, hiding column B. We also added a plus question mark at the end of high. The plus question mark will review all the rows in column B. Any row with the word hide in column B will be hidden. This is how we'll hide the rows that contain zero balances for both companies. We will not review the result of the combined column. It is possible for Fabricam to have a debit balance of $100, for example, and Gabricam to have a credit balance of $100, making the combined amount zero. In this example, we would want the row to display so the individual company details are correct. We'll use the Excel logical formula if to review the value of the row. To create the formula, we'll start in row 10 where our sales accounts exist. Choosing formulas, logical, and then if from the Excel menu. In the logical test, we'll review whether the sales data for the first company or cell F10 is equal to zero. Jet will copy this formula to every row it creates in this cell section. If it is zero, the word hide will display in column B. If it is not zero, the word show will display in column B. I see the word show displaying for the first account, so I know this account will be displayed. Now that I have evaluated Fabricam, I need to perform the same evaluation on Gabricam. Since column B is the only column where I can determine whether a row should be hidden or not, I'll need to combine the evaluation of both companies into the same formula. Combining two or more formulas is called nesting, and in Excel, I can nest up to 64 formulas together. Fortunately, in this example, we only need two. I basically want the same formula, so I'll take advantage of copy and paste, 
copying the entire formula except the equal sign at the beginning to my clipboard. I'll open the function window back up by clicking on the FX in the formula bar. I'll then replace the true line with my formula in my clipboard. Now I'll need to make sure the true line is referencing the GabraCam data by changing the cell to G10. The formula now works like this. Is FabriCam zero? If not, show the account. If it is zero, is GabraCam zero? If it is not, show it. Otherwise, hide the row. I'll copy the nested formula to the other rows that contain accounts. Let's do another refresh and see the results. Now our report is much easier to read, displaying only accounts with balances. Let's make it even nicer looking by removing the grid lines on the Excel worksheet by unmarking the grid line checkbox on the Excel view ribbon. It looks great. Let's go back to design mode. I promised to make the report date easier to use, so let's do that now. I'll be using a Jet Professional function, but the same results can be achieved with Jet Express. I'll explain more on that in a bit. I'll select the Report Option icon on the Jet ribbon. Just as an FYI, this option is dimmed out on Jet Express. When the Report Options window opens, I'll enter Reporting Date in the title field. In the value, I'll enter the date we've been working with, December 31st, 2017. And now I have a new worksheet in this workbook called Option. If you are a Jet Express user, you can manually create this tab or copy it from another report to achieve the same results. In the professional version of Jet, lookup windows and tooltips can be added. Let's go back to the report worksheet and have our report date in cell B5 reference the date on the Option tab. What does this do for me? Let's find out by refreshing. For each refresh, this pop-up window displays, asking me what date I want the report to use. To show you how it works, I'll change the report to November 2017 and click Run. Now my report is displaying for November. I'll refresh one more time, changing the date back to December. This makes for a super cool and easy way to change the report date. One question that I get asked a lot is about drill down. Can JET be used to drill down into GP data so I could see where and how the amounts originated? The answer is yes with JET Professional. We know that Management Reporter can drill down to the account transaction level, so let's see what JET Professional can do. Click on the amount or cell where you want the drill down to occur. An arrow will appear right next to the cell and click on that arrow. The drill down will now appear in a pop-up window. Since this is year-to-date drill down, we see every account on this row and every period summary for this account. If I scroll to the right, I can see the GP table from which this data is being extracted. When I highlight an amount and double click, the individual transaction detail for this summary amount will open. Now, this is when Jet Drill Down gets super cool. Let's make this pop-up window bigger so we could see more. There is a lot of valuable information here, including master ID, master name, and document number if this transaction came from another module, like payables or receivables. Scroll all the way to the right, and we can see that this data is coming from our Open Year Transaction Table in GP, which is GL20,000. It gets better. I can sort on any of these columns by simply clicking on the column. This is Excel, so what if you want to filter to a single vendor, like Home Furnishings? Easy. Click on the Filter dropdown and select the desired vendor. Now your list only shows detail for just that vendor. The full or filtered list can then be exported to another Excel worksheet. The drill down in JET is one of my favorite features. The purpose of this video series is to simply compare the building of a report in Management Reporter to the building of a report in JET Reports. The JET Reports family has a lot more functionality than this video series shows, such as report scheduling, automated report distribution, version control, web tools, dashboards, advanced security, plus a whole lot more.
This concludes the Management Reporter comparison to the JET Reports video series. Thanks for joining me on this journey, and as always, I hope this helps.